Guys, welcome back. We are heading out into the woods. I'm here with Ethan. This is Ethan's oval. We'll, uh, we'll let Ethan tell the story when we get up there. Got a little bit of a hike, just trying to see the layout before I drive the trailer in and, you know, me and my awesome driving skills get stuck. <laughs> yeah. You sh I should have brought my chainsaw or to drop that tree. Right. Yeah. I don't think the trailer's gonna get through here. So they just dumped all this rock here. Fantastic. Hmm. Did I mention I did not bring a chainsaw? <laughs> Should have told me to bring a chainsaw. I'm a lumberjack, you know, I would have brought one. Oh, there it is. It's a sight. Wow. Good shot, right? <laughs> All the way in the back. And what year did you figure this was the 56? Is that what you uh um did you yeah, run 50, the numbers? 55, 56. Well, it's definitely not a 55. Okay. In 55 would have the. It rib had, doors. Well, it had the rib doors. Uh, wow, you really did pop that roof out. Yeah. You weren't even kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it bent right back in the Wow. Tree. Barely read the body tag, but it has it. Oh, is that the radio? Yep. L41, black on red. Kind of still has the seats in there. Look at that wheel, wow. You can see the roller pedal in there. Yep, musty one would get that running. Was that one, that roof wasn't folded like that, was it? Yeah. I tried pulling it up a little bit. Yeah. Wow. Well, there it is. All right. Next plan is uh, how the hell we're going to get back here. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe that roof popped like that. It was loud. Wow. All right. So instead of trying to go this way, I found this little other entrance here. I was able to move a couple rocks. And we're going to have to figure out how to turn around when we get down there. What's with me and furniture I'm doing these winter rescues? Hopefully that moves. 
We got that pillar to move. And yeah, I wish I brought a shovel. A couple things to move and we'll get to it. Good. Don't worry about the future. Just worry about the now. That's right, right here, right now. So guys, we're, I don't see a way to turn around when we get down there. We got the logs out of the way. They were easy to move by hand. I might just disconnect the trailer and get it reversed. Or I could do the Austin Powers 99 point K turn. I doubt it though, it's, uh, it's pretty tight in here. So let's figure that out. All right, we went with the trailer disconnect. Now my plan is to swing this, don't get dizzy, around that way, rehook, and then we can back in. And start the rescue at around, I don't know, two-ish. Yeah, we're getting, it's gonna be dark in about two hours. Ethan, tell us how you came about this oval in the woods. Well, I had a old friend from high school. We have been connected on Facebook and uh, they uh, messaged me because they had bought some property. They happened to have a couple beetles and some other things on, on it. And uh, they knew I was a, a Volkswagen guy. So they contacted me and sent me a picture and, all I saw was this oval here, right? And uh, I was like, I'll take it. Basically just kind of saving these things from the crusher. So an abandoned beetle. Yep. I don't know, they abandoned it. And the price was, couldn't beat it. Yeah. Free. Can't beat free. Let's get back to it. All right guys, we're able to get the doors somewhat closed. We're gonna strap them together. Just try to maintain whatever shape we can left. I hit this jack sucks, buddy. Get my other jack. Well, I'm glad the glass is broke. <laughs> You're standing right in front of the shop. Oh, brother. dang. <laughs> Sorry, camera. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Hope you had a nice view. <laughs> nice for you. Yeah, see, it's gonna slide off here. I'll get the other jack under it, though. Standing in front of the shot again. <laughs> Where's my marker? <laughs> Go sit down over there. Right? I'm just gonna, gonna cross that line. Cross the line, buddy. Glad I brought two. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> you know? The case is completely rotted away. Wow. I mean, you can see the cam. <laughs> wow. I've never. I've never seen that before. Can you get that board under there now or no? No? Tight? Not yet. Uh, yeah, we got a little bit to go. Ah, distributor in the way. Distributor. That's why it was too many spark. Let's get under this thing now. Alright guys, well here's the update. I was originally going to make this a roller, but time is getting late so we're just going to hook up, give it a little tug, get it straightened out.
You're not, uh, you're not hooked up to anything. What? <laughs> I think you're. I think you're forgetting something. Now, <laughs> might want to come back a few feet. Keep it coming. Where? <laughs> Where are you hooking it to? Are you hooking it? Um. All right, good. All right. So here's where we're at. We're gonna just go for this. I was gonna do one more block, get a little higher, but I think we'll just go for it. Make it more interesting. Send it. Send it. Can't get any worse, right? Get a look at that engine, huh? Nice. All right, Maestro, master filmer. Yeah. Um, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. That's Give her a six, good six inches, and yeah. you got that one tire on. It's it's basically on there. I mean, I think just just send it back like right. six eight inches, and we'll be on it. Keep going. Yeah. Just gun it. That's the right way. That's good. Go for it. Go yeah. for it. Give it a good foot. Give it another four inches. We're on it. Stop. We're good. Yeah. yeah. Any further, you'll hit the jack. And there's room to pull the jack out. I can't too. see it from the other side, but this whole tire is on. Nice. With five inches, four inches clear. And that never is how that it before. is done, son. First for everything. As it rolls back off the trailer, right? <laughs> Coming in. Coming in hot. Incoming. Bad wheel. C coming in slow. Bad wheel. Oh. Oh. Too much English. Now that one. Now that one. Oh. All right, you ready? Yeah. Mm. Jacket up. How you looking over there? All right. Good. The board's starting to move now, yeah, it's but it it's going to flatten, I think, just nice when it comes up. Oh, 
One out of two is not bad, right? Yeah. Nice work. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> now there it is. Yep. That, that, that should make the trip home. <laughs> well, thank you guys for all the help. You're welcome. Well, there it is. Thank you. How you feeling? You're welcome. Um. I'm not sure if I made the right decision. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But it's cool. It is cool. You know, just to kind of have an actual oval, get to get to know the body lines of these cars. Because, like, you know, even the motor, I'm not used to that kind of setup. Everything, yeah, the 36. You know, even, my, even my 65 has a 73 motor in it. Yeah, these are yeah, my so. favorites. You got your speaker. Yup. Speaker, original Th radio. Rig <laughs> original radio. All right. I can fix it. My dad's TV was there, man. He's, He's got the ultimate set of tools. <laughs> All right, we're out of here. I'm gonna drop this thing off and head home. Well, here's where we're at. You know, just tied to a tree and kind of hope for the best. This should go fine. This should really just go fine. Starting to kind of slide one side. Whoa! All right, let me lift the ramps one more time. Looking good. Up, up! That wants to go the other way. Completely. Isn't this fun? <laughs> I gotta get this thing off the trailer. Never a dull moment. I should have freed up the brake drums. I know, because this is more work than it would have been to free up the brake drums, right? That's what you're saying? I know. All right, jack up the ass end. Swing it over. You might swing it over. Maybe not. Pull from the other side now. <laughs> Good, don't stand in the front of the shop. <laughs> yeah, I, I learned. Good so far, yeah. Pull it from the right. 
right side. Not the wrong side. Oh, she's hanging off, brother. <laughs> yeah, but now it's like, you know, like a train. You ride the track. You know what? Probably almost come off. Yeah. See, if you got... Just think... You got rid of this. See, uh... The hatchet. This is probably... Freaking up the, uh... Forward momentum. smoother now. If I pulled it from the other side, if I pulled it from the other side, it'd be good. Yeah. I don't know. I think it'll slide down. Yeah. What do you think? Go for it. I know if we pull it from the other side, it'll straighten out. Yeah. So I know we should pull it from the other side, but I'm done. We're just gonna give it the, give it the yank. I just can't. Yeah. <laughs> I just can't. I can't. I gotta re. I gotta reattach. Cut. I. I gotta do it right. I just. I just can't half-ass it. <laughs> we can straighten it out with manpower. Oh yeah. Ready? All right, now I can go straight back. Look at that, guys. Just That's straight. There it is. It's got skills. The oval has landed. <laughs> Oh man, this the stance on this side. You just love it. There we go. It's smooth lighting. There you go. <laughs> there he is. All right, guys. Well, that's it for Ethan and I. Ethan is the proud new owner of his oval. It's home. The oval has landed. So thanks for dropping in, checking it out. We appreciate it. You guys have a good week. We'll see you soon. Peace. <laughs> nice. Don't oh, forget to go madhatterdattoo.com. <laughs> oh, yeah. What's your that's right? What's your uh, you can put that in there if you want. Yeah. Well, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, coming along with the adventure. Uh, don't forget to go to uh, madhattertattoo.com for your uh, tattoo and body piercing needs. And uh, tune in for uh, next episode on this one i don't know when that's going to be but i'm going to do something with it but at least it's not going to crush her and i've done my part in uh saving the uh one of the old volkswagens i got instagram it's uh, i got tattoos by ethan so i have uh mad hatter tattoo ct make sure it's a danbury connecticut uh mad hatter tattoo i got an oval this is my first oval nice congratulations so, brother. thank you it feels good it's a good feeling and uh, yeah, Jason, I can't thank you enough for helping me out with this thing. Hey, no just, problem. It was a fun day. It was a fun uh, day. All right. It was a good wow. day. All right. I guess we got to move here. All right. We're out, so. guys. We're in the way. <laughs> all right. So, guys, how did it go? Because it's 11 o'clock. I was supposed to be there at 10. And I just realized I showed up at Lakeview. Not Lake. Lakeview. I mean... good news is it's quite scenic over here I've never been here and I always enjoy going to new places I've never seen so yeah it's really pretty problem is I'm 20 minutes out now we're not gonna get to this destination I don't even know where we're going after that how far it is probably noon gets dark about 430 So how prepared am I? Eh, not really prepared. Most of my stuff was in my other vehicle, Orca, the QX56. I chucked a few essentials in there. I heard the approach is not good. 
probably going to have to disconnect the trailer and put it in four wheel drive and head back there and pull the car out. Not seen only a couple pictures, you know, the brakes are probably going to be seized. But anyway, hopefully it all went well. So, alright, I'm off to my destination. Thank you guys again for checking out the video. I forgot to bring cash because it was going to be on my trailer. I have to bring it back to his place, unload it, take my rollers off. It would have been easier just to buy it, but it's probably a good thing. I need another wasted, rusty. I know it's an oval, but it's wasted. So anyway, thanks again for dropping in. And uh, hopefully, this stays Friday. Hopefully you guys are watching this Saturday. And I stayed up all night editing it. And if the edit was terrible, I apologize because by the time I got to the bug, we just needed to get down to business and get the car out and not try to film all the cool angles and, you know, yada yada. So, thanks again. Wish me luck. And we'll see you soon, guys. Take care.